Hey guys, what's up? This is Mystical from acupofdeath.com bringing you another Tutorial Tuesday. This week what we're going to talk about is live streaming with XSplit, which we've done tutorials on before. However, in this tutorial we are going to show you the best settings to use for uh, streaming from XSplit to Twitch.tv. And then we're also going to make a video coming up, so you want to make sure you subscribe so that you get a notification of that on the best settings to use for YouTube when you're live streaming on there. Okay, so let's get into it. The first thing you want to do is there is an actual plugin. Now you may already have one, um, the justin.tv slash Twitch plugin that you're using on XSplit. However, they did come out with a plugin specifically just for Twitch. So you want to add that. If you don't have it in your list when you go to add channel, you can click on more here, which will take you to the plugin store. Should take just a second to load here. And you can actually see all the different plugins they have for all the different websites when you come into here. And you can scroll down and find Twitch, you know, the one just for Twitch, and install it. You'll just click on it, like for example this one. We can click on and then you can click on install. It'll install that for you, and then it'll be there under the add channel. Okay, so you're going to add the channel, which is going to walk you through setting in all your usernames and everything. That's pretty simple. Okay, so let's go here and I'll actually show you the best settings to use. Okay, so when you, after you get done setting it up, that'll be there. Like I said, you go to that, click the little gear icon next to the Twitch, and it'll bring you up to with all your channel information. Of course, you have your username and your password or stream key if you're using that. Uh, you know, it'll have your channels listed. Server, I choose automatic, which chooses the best server available at the time, and you can test the bandwidth, but this is the important part. Okay, so let's get into it. Video encoding, you want to use the Kodak X.264. Best Kodak to use, in fact, you can't even change it in X Split because that's the one they use. Bit rate, if you're doing 720p, um, which is what this is set up for, that's what we stream in, uh, you want to go at at least 2500. Uh, kilobytes per second. Um, you can go up to really as much as you want to. Um, however, the higher you go, the better the people that are watching your stream, like for example here at 3000, that's 3 megabytes per second, they must have an internet download speed of at least 3 megabytes per second in order to watch the stream without having any problems, difficulties, things like that. Um, I go with 3 3 megabytes per second, it seems to work out pretty well. The um, I used to stream higher at 5 megabytes per second, but I had a lot of people complaining about that issue. So I dropped it down to 3,000, which nobody complains about the quality. Everything seems good, so we're happy with that. The second thing is the mode. You want to make sure you have this on constant bitrate and not variable. The default is variable. However, the problem is, is when you go into sections of a lot of action and stuff it spikes really quick and what happens is with these drops and spikes uh, the recording doesn't stay consistent and when they go to decode it on their servers before it goes to the live stream um, it, sometimes you get a lot of lag issues with that so it's better having it as a constant bit rate and not a variable okay and then if you go here you can click apply strict constant bit rate which means that it keeps it there your max keyframe interval this is very important as well. Most of the time um, it's set as, uh, I think, undefined or automatic or something, but you actually want to put it at two. Um, this changes how many times it actually refreshes for the key for, for your frame rate and everything. You want to keep it at two. That's what they like to have. It gives you a better stream over wise. Um, all the details exactly, you know, I couldn't tell you for sure. Um, I don't know a ton about it, but I do know that you do get a lot better stream quality if you put this at 2. So make sure you do that. Your encoder preset, this is dependent strictly on your processor and stuff. Um, if you're using a different computer for your streaming than you are for like your gaming or things like that. For example, when I live stream on my Xbox 360 console, I change this thing up. I'm using the AMD um, 80. 8350 8 core which is 4 gigahertz um, I use it sometimes at fast or medium um, you know whereas it tells here it even says you know high compre high compression don't try without second gen fast i7 um, you know so this says don't try without second gen i7 don't try without i7 you know so but this is very fast as default um, you know it's pretty good if I'm playing on the PC and streaming from the same computer I leave it at the default 
works out okay. If I'm playing on the Xbox 360, I change this to fast to allow the computer to do a lot more of the compression, which gives you a better quality at a lower bit rate um, for Twitch and stuff, which is nice. But unless you have a really nice CPU, you definitely are better leaving this at very fast. Okay. Uh, your buffer, that'll be the same as your bitrate, so you'd set that at 3,000 kilobits per second. And your video size, um, I just go with default resolution because I have it set up for uh, 720. Uh, but you can select you know, what exactly you want to use, um, and then that's all you have set up there. For your audio encoding, I like the AAC uh, low complexity, high quality uh, bitrate. Um, you know, it works out well. I actually crank it all the way up to the 192. The default's 128. You know, again, this is dependent on your, you know, speed and stuff that you have. If you're at using 25, um, 100 kilobits per second, you may want to leave this at 128 or maybe try to bump it up to 160 uh, with the extra 500 that I put into it. You know, because like I said, the minimum for 720 that they recommend is 2500. That's the minimum. So at 3000, I gave myself a little bit more. That way I could do the 192. I just like everybody being able to hear everything crystal clear. Uh, so we do that. And then you'll go ahead and hit OK to save it all. And there you go. You're all set up. So then when you go to broadcast, you'll just select Twitch. All your settings are saved in there. Um, you know, everything's good to go. There are settings, um, you know, in different, you know, general settings stuff, choosing your microphone and stuff. If you need to know how to do that stuff, check back at our previous Tutorial Tuesday videos because we do have all of that listed as well. Um, a video on setting it up completely, but this video was just talking about how to get the best quality. So you want to use those settings, that's going to give you the best quality. You can change a couple of them to get a little bit better quality, like the uh, max bit rate and everything. However, by doing so, just keep in mind that you're asking your audience to have faster internet. Um, and, you know, some of the lower ends, uh, for example, in my area, about the lowest you get is three megabytes down. So that's why I choose that one, because even if they have the slowest package, they should be able to watch it with relatively no issues as long as they're getting the max speed that they're supposed to be getting, um, you know. You know, so just keep that in mind when you do that. All right, guys, but that's it for this tutorial. I hope it helped you out, gave you all the information you needed to know. Um, if you have any questions at all, please ask in the comments below. We'd be happy to help you out in any way that we can. Um, also, make sure you subscribe to this channel for future updates on our Tutorial Tuesdays where we go over pretty much anything that has to do with gaming, live streaming, that kind of stuff, you know, showing you how to set it up. If there's something specific you'd like to see in one of these Tutorial Tuesday videos, leave that in the comments below as well. Um, and you guys have a great day. Also, if the video helped you, make sure you like it and, uh, like I said, subscribe. Thanks. Later, guys.